Hello students, welcome to the lecture on market segmentation. And after the lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Define the market segmentation, understand the need for market segmentation, discuss about the benefits of market segmentation, describe the basis of segmenting consumer market, explain the market segmentation variables. Let's start with an introduction to market segmentation. Market segmentation involves grouping various customers into segments that have common needs or will respond similarly to a marketing action. Understanding the concept of segmentation is central to marketing because each customer group will require a different marketing mix strategy. Furthermore, each segment will offer differing growth and profit opportunities, so the trick is to deliver the best offer to the best segment. In market segmentation, one distinguishes homogeneous groups of customers who can be targeted in the same manner because they have similar needs and preferences. In 1956, Smith defined, market segmentation involves viewing a heterogeneous market as a number of smaller homogeneous markets in response to differing preferences attributable to the desires of customers for more precise satisfactions of their varying wants. This being an accurate definition to date, one of its most appealing aspects is that it presents segmentation as a conceptual model of the way a manager wishes to view a market. Even if it is a powerful concept, it is still an empirical question as to how well it describes the situation for a particular product or service to provide input to managerial decisions. There are alternatives to segmentation, in particular one-to-one -one marketing in one extreme and mass marketing in the other. The opportunity to market one-to-one -one leads potentially, but not necessarily, to greater profitability. One-to-one -one marketing does not prelude to segmentation. When implementing one-to-one -one strategies, firms currently first develop a limited number of marketing mixes targeted to mar market segments and then personalize some of their components to each member of these target segments. The available new information technology enables this customization of the marketing mix. Although many companies have developed new business and increased their profits with one-to-one -one marketing, its usage as an implementation <coughs> tactic does not prelude market segmentation as a general strategy to approach a market. Market segmentation enables companies to target different categories of consumers who perceive the full value of certain products and services differently from one another. Market segmentation is a marketing strategy that involves dividing a broad target market into subsets of consumers who have common needs and applications for the relevant goods and services. Depending on the specific characteristics of the product, these subsets may be divided by criteria such as age and gender or other distinctions like location or income. Marketing campaigns can then be designed and implemented to target these specific customer segments. Market segmentation is the division of a market into different groups of customers with distinctly similar needs and product or service requirements. Or, to put it another way, market segmentation is the division of a mass market into identifiable and distinct groups or segments, each of which have common characteristics and needs and display similar responses to marketing actions. Market segmentation was first defined as a condition of growth when core markets have already been developed on a generalized basis to the point where additional promotional expenditures are yielding diminishing returns. There is now widespread agreement that they form an important foundation for successful marketing strategies and activities. The purpose of market segmentation is to leverage scarce resources, in other words, to ensure that the elements of the marketing mix price distribution, products and promotion are designed to meet particular needs of different customer groups. Since companies have finite resources, it is not possible to produce all possible products for all the people all of the time. The best that can be aimed for is to provide selected offerings for selected groups of people most of the time. This process allows organizations to focus on specific customers' needs in the most efficient and effective way. As Bean and eloquently commented, a company with limited resources needs to pick only the best opportunities to pursue. The process of market segmentation. The intricacies involved in market segmentation are said to make it an exacting uh, activity. Griffith and Paul argued this point on the basis of multiple product applications, greater customer variability and problems associated with the identification of the key differences between groups of customers. However, there have been numerous attempts to define and describe business segmentation. 
using a variety of variables and ranging from the severely product based to customer needs based orientation. There are two main approaches to segmenting markets. The first adopts the view that the market is considered to consist of customers which are essentially the same, so the task is to identify groups which share particular differences. This is referred to as the breakdown method. The second approach considers a market to consist of customers that are all different, so here the task is to find similarities. This is known as the building up method. The breakdown approach is perhaps the most established and well recognized and is the main method used for segmenting customer markets. The build up approach seeks to move from the individual level where all customers are different to a more general level of analysis based on the identification of similarities. The build up method is customer oriented as it seeks to determine common customer needs. Market segmentation is the first step in selecting target markets and is widely accepted as one of the key elements in modern marketing and strategy development. A market consists of actual and potential buyers of a product or service who have the ability and willingness to buy and the wants and needs which can be satisfied through an exchange relationship. Market segmentation is the process where the market is divided into subgroup of customers where members of each subgroup share certain similarities. Market segment is the subgroup identified as a result of the segmentation exercise. Members of each group have similar needs and purchase behavior. A target market is a subgroup of customers which the firm chooses and develops specific marketing offerings for. If we take the automotive industry as an example, a market would be all people looking to buy a vehicle. Following a market segmentation process, few distinct market segments can be identified. In this case, we might identify segments like families and singles. Based on information collected through market research, we can identify that the family market segment has flexible but somewhat basic transportation needs. They need a combination of people and cargo carrying capabilities. Safety and quality are the most important to these fairly price sensitive buyers. The singles market segment on the other hand may be young and have more disposable income to spend on transportation. Singles have a wide variety of transportation needs. Style and performance are most important to the segment. Vehicle classes that may be of particular interest include sports and youths. If our organization only manufactures sports cars a singles market is most likely going to be chosen as our target market based on information from our segmentation study. Segmentation is a recommended step in marketing strategy as it provides a range of benefits to companies that use the segmentation approach. A segmentation exercise will give its users a fresh look at their core markets as well as an improved understanding of the needs and wants which in turn can lead to increased sales and customer satisfaction. Segmentation enables organizations to identify the customer's wants and needs and develop products that best match them. Product benefits can be emphasized through more targeted advertising using more appropriate media to enhance message delivery. Segmenting the market enables organizations to better match the company's strengths and capabilities with the market requirements. By doing so, users can maximize the use of their resources to gain a competitive advantage. Companies cannot satisfy all potential customers all the time. Using segmentation procedures, companies can focus on satisfying those segments that they assess to be the most attractive for their products. Once an attractive segment has been identified, an appropriate marketing mix can be developed. If we continue using the example from the automotive industry, it is easy to see how knowing that style and performance are important attributes for the singles market segment can help the company develop their marketing strategy. There are many ways to segment a market. A few common methods documented in literature include geographic segmentation, demographic segmentation, psychographic segmentation, and behavioral segmentation. Types of market segmentation Psychographic segmentation the basis of such segmentation is the lifestyle of the individuals. 
the individual's attitude, interest, value help the marketeers to classify them into small groups. Psychographic segmentation is sometimes also referred to as behavioral segmentation. This type of segmentation, it divides the market into groups according to the customer's lifestyle. It considers a number of potential influences on buying behavior, including the attitudes, the expectations, and the activities of the customers. If these are known, then products and marketing campaigns can be customized so they appeal more specifically to customer motivations. Behavioristic segmentation. The loyalties of the customers towards a particular brand help the marketers to classify them into smaller groups, each group comprising of individual loyal towards a particular brand. Behavioristic segmentation is primarily activity based. It includes hobbies, sports and fitness, involvement, purchasing, behavior, entertainment, social events, dining patterns, any behavior that can be measured and quantified. Behavioristic segmentation looks at consumer behavior patterns, frequent and infrequent purchase loyalty to a product, etc. Geographic segmentation. Geographic segmentation refers to the classification of the market into various geographical areas. A marketer cannot have similar strategies for individuals living at different places. Nestle promotes Nescafe all through the year in cold states of the country as compared to places which have well-defined summer and winter season. McDonald's does not, does not sell beef products as it is strictly against the religious beliefs of the countrymen, whereas McDonald's in US freely sells and promotes beef products. This is perhaps the most common form of market segmentation, wherein companies segment the market by attacking a restricted geographic area. Let us explore the need for market segmentation. According to the marketing concept by Philip Kotler, understanding customers and satisfying their needs better than the competition is the priority of an organization. But different customers have different needs and it is rarely possible to satisfy all customers by treating them alike. Thus, there is a need for market segmentation, which offers the same marketing mix to all customers. Mass marketing allows economies of scale to be realized through mass production and mass distribution. Thus, if the principles of market segmentations are not applied, the firms ignore the differing customer needs and another firm would likely enter the market with a product that serves a specific group and the incumbent firms would lose the customers. Mass marketing refers to treatment of the market as a homogeneous group and offering the same marketing mix to all customers. Mass marketing allows economies of scale to be realized through mass production and mass distribution. Thus, if the principles of market segmentations are not applied, the firms ignore the differing customers' needs and another firm would likely enter the market with a product that serves a specific group and the incumbent firms would lose the customers. Target marketing, on the other hand, it recognizes the diversity of the customers and does not try to please all of them with the same offering. The most basic step of in-target marketing is to identify the market segments and their needs. Thus, depending on the type of marketing the firm wants to carry out, they need to carry out market segmentation. Market segmentation is the identification of portions of the market that are different from one another. Segmentation allows the firm to better satisfy the needs of its potential customers. The marketing concept calls for understanding customers and satisfying their needs better than the competition. But different customers have different needs and it rarely is possible to satisfy all customers by treating them alike.
Requirements of market segments. Market segmentation is a consumer-oriented mission. This mission supplies goods or services to satisfy wants and needs of the customers of the target market in order to achieve organizational goal. Same basis of market segmentation for different products cannot be appropriate. The necessary components for market segmentation are divisible. Market should be made divisible for market segmentation. Market should be divided on the basis of the purchasing power, the purchasing purpose, purchasing habit, lifestyle, living style, gender, religion, place, etc. While dividing the market, the customers have having some wants and characters should be grouped together. Measurable customers' wants. Purchasing power and characteristics should be measurable. Besides, the information necessary for market segmentation also should be easily available. Customers income, age, gender, etc. can be easily available. Accessible market segmentation. Market segmentation should be made in a way that it becomes easy to reach there and provide effective services. Market segmentation should be made in a way that marketing activities such as distribution, advertisement, media, selling efforts, etc. can reach there easily. Substantial. Profit com components should not be missed while segmenting market. If profit cannot be earned from providing goods or services to the customers, a business firm cannot make sustainable development. The main purpose of market segmentation by identifying target market is to earn profit. So market should be segmented so that profit can be clearly seen. Actionable. The other important requirement of market segmentation is actionability. A business organization should be able to implement its policy and programs to attract targeted market segment and provide services. So market segmentation should be made considering the human, physical and financial resources of a firm so that it can easily be implemented. Let us now discuss the benefits of market segmentation. There are several benefits of market segmentation. Focus of the company. Segmentation is an effective method to increase the focus of a firm on market segments. If one has better focus, obviously we will have better returns. Numerous automobile companies have started focusing on small car segments. Increase in competitiveness. Naturally, once our focus increases, competitiveness in the market segment will increase. If we are focusing on youngsters, brand recall and equity with youngsters will be very high. Market share might increase and the chances of a new competitor entering might be low. The brand loyalty will definitely increase. Market expansion. Geographic segmentation is one type of segmentation where expansion is immediately possible. If one has market strategy on the basis of geography, then once we are catering to a particular territory, we can immediately expand to a nearby territory. Customer retention. By using segmentation, customer retention can be encouraged through the life cycle of a customer. The best example of this is the automobile and the airline segment. We will find major examples of customer life cycle segmentation in the hospitality segment, whether they are hotels, airlines or hospitals. They have better communication. One of the factors of marketing mix which is absolutely dependent on STP, that is segmentation, targeting and positioning, is promotions or communications. The communications of a company needs to be spot on for its target market. Thus, we need a target market. We need segmentation. Communication cannot be possible without knowing the target market. Let's discuss the basis of segmenting consumer market. Market segmentation is the process of aggregating individuals or businesses along similar characteristics that pertain to the use, consumption or benefits of a product or service. A market segment can be any size from one person to millions of people. Three markets. Businesses, consumers and governments are defined as business market. The business market involves the marketing of products to businesses, governments and institutions for use in the business operation as components in the business products or for resale. Government market. The government market is a public market which is basically related with international marketing. The consumer market. The consumer market involves marketing goods and services to the end consumer. Market segmentation basis. Marketeers base the segmentation on demographics, geographical locations, psychographics and behaviors with regard to the product. Firms often combine bases and focus on categories such as geodemographics, geography and demographics. Geographic segments, geographic locations of computers in cyberspace is not important. However, it is important to firms with an internet presence. Product distribution strategy is the driving force behind geographic segmentation. Important geographic segments for e-marketing. 19 country markets have more than 50% internet penetration with the United States leading at 186 million users. 
One barrier to e-marketers is language. Only 36% of all internet pages are written in the English language. Demographic segments. In the early years, the typical internet user was a young male, college educated with a high income. It describes three market segments that have recently caught the attention of e-marketers. Recently caught the attention of e-marketers. Millennial. Those born between 1979 and 1994, over 75% use the internet. These individuals are good at multitasking and are better able to handle information overload. Millennial are the first generation to control information quickly, use many technology gadgets at once and totally ignore marketers. Ethnic groups, Hispanics, African Americans and Asians are important online markets. Hispanics have a 59% internet adoption rate. African Americans are one of the fastest growing ethnic groups for internet adoption. Asians have over 65% of the population online. Psychographic segments. Psychographics include personality, values, lifestyle, activities, interests and opinions. Interest communities. The internet is an ideal gathering place for people from anywhere in the world with similar interests and tasks. People can connect through social networking and similar practices. Online communities can be targeted through chat rooms or discussion boards, advertisements on other sites or actually joining a community and posting messages as the member. Behavior segments. To commonly use behavioral segmentation, variables are benefits sought and pro product usage. Benefit segment. The internet offers something for everyone. Information, entertainment, news, social meeting places, etc. To determine benefit segments, marketers look at what people actually do online. Usage segments. Segments are also developed according to how they use the medium. Home versus work access speed and preferred receiving device, time spent online and industry-specific usage, home and work access. E-marketers want to know if one access, uh, accesses the internet from home or from work, as these segments tend to have different needs on the web. Access speed, the type of internet connection and the receiving appliance can affect usage behavior. Broadband connections create the ability to receive larger data files with more multimedia content. The PDA and cell phone users might tend to stay away from sites with high multimedia programming. Time online. The amount of time spent online varies greatly and has been categorized simplifiers, surfers and connectors, bargainers, routines and spotters. Industry specific. Usage segments. Usage varies from industry or business type to the other. Three visitors to websites have been categorized as explorers, off-roaders and cruisers. Let's study the market segmentation variables. Market segmentation variables are used to answer specific questions and provide more detailed information about existing and potential clients in the context of business applications. To use the variable correctively proper statistical methods and data collection techniques should be used so as to not disproportionately gather information, incorrectly collect that information or haphazardly analyze and utilize it. Good segmentation variable addresses the budget, product, brand equity, revenue goals and other important aspects of business operations. If the wrong variables are used in the wrong way during market segmentation, the questions answered may not be appropriate for the company's objectives. Market segmentation variables are thus used in the following ways. They assist in determining market information. They help the companies identify who to market to. Provide criteria to more specifically categorize existing markets. They are used in statistical analysis and or additional market research. They allow companies to fine tune their marketing budgets and expenditures. Now, in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Depending on the specific characteristics of the product, these subsets may be divided by criteria such as age and gender or other distinctions like location or home. Psychographic segmentation is sometimes referred to as behavioral segmentation. This type of segmentation divides the market into groups according to the customer's lifestyle. The loyalties of the customers towards a particular brand help the marketers to classify them into smaller groups each group comprising of individuals loyal towards a particular brand. Target marketing recognizes the diversity of customers and does not try to please all of them with the same offering. Market segmentation is a process of aggregating individuals or businesses along similar characteristics that pertain to the use, consumption or benefits of a product or service.